Hello and welcome to this video about how to make flower boxes in front of your windows in a shrouded. I will showcase two different neat ways of doing that, but as well some ways to kind of make flower pots for your walls, as well as a really nice little French balcony. But more importantly, I will also talk about exactly how the rules work for overlapping items on top of each other in a shrouded, and it's not the way you might think. So stay tuned for that, and let's get started. This is the first window that we will put the flower box in front of. In the previous video I showed how to make a flower box using thicker walls. The great thing with the trick I will be showing in this video is that you don't need it. You can have kind of single wall segments. Uh, the window is lined with the roof tile blocks. You get these nice beams on either side uh, with four blocks in between. You cannot really choose where they appear, but you can put the window where they happen to appear, uh, so to speak. Uh, let's put some windows in. I really like the basic ones because you can make this really nice patterns or pattern. I think this actually looks really great. Now let's grab some uh, farm soil and place it like this. All the way across. Then I need some uh, scaffolding cubes. I don't know really what to call it, but just cubes that I place there to be able to place other cubes. Then we grab my favorite cube in the whole game, carved wooden nightstand. That's the best block there is. Um, rotate it like this. Put one over here like this. And one over on the other side. Just mirroring. Uh, like this, I think that's nice. And then we take more wooden nightstands. One here. One over here, and one in the middle. Then we grab some strawberries, because why not? Strawberries are really nice. And, well, that's kind of done. Well, I need to remove, of course, like these ones were not supposed to be there. All right, so this is the first window or flower box in front of the window. Let's move, let's move over to the next one over here. So this is the second window that we will make a flower box for. And just like with the basic wooden ones, uh, the iron windows work extremely well to overlap. You get this really great uh, pattern here in the center. Anyway, let's place some farm soil, just like we did for, um, for the first uh, flower box. I need some scaffolding cubes again, like something to place other stuff on. See if I can fit that neatly here. Yeah, that looks good. And this time we grab some toilets. And I will place uh, one toilet over here, like this. And another one on the other side. Try to get it somewhat symmetrical. Like this, I think that was, yeah, it looks to be all right. Another toilet. Placing these ones can be a bit uh, tricky, but uh, usually works if you just have a bit of patience. And another one over here as well. Let's see if I can get uh, sit right. Yeah, that looks all right. Uh, we need to grab some more. And that was probably more than I needed anyway. Now uh, one toilet like this. I think will be nice and this and then one here in the middle we can now remove the scaffolding cubes and uh, grab some flowers uh, let's go with saffron this time see how many we can fit with some luck I can actually fit four maybe if I remove these ones and go from uh, from the very side I will be able to when I test built this earlier, I managed to fit four. We might only be able to fit three now. I don't know. Yeah, all right. So this is the second um, little window box. Really neat and nice and fits extremely well with this type of wall as well. I have made a door here a bit up on the wall uh, where we will make our French balcony. Like French balconies are those small balconies you see inside of big European cities like in France and Spain and Italy as well. There's pretty much just a tiny little balcony with a door where people can kind of go out and smoke and stuff. Don't smoke, smoking is bad. Anyway, uh, let's put a toilet here because this is also a toilet build. Uh, let's see, 
another toilet like this. This one should be kind of tiny, so not too many toilets, just two of them. And on the other side, just identical. Like this I think will be nice, and another one here. And now to the thing I teased about earlier in the video. If you look at stuff in um, uh, or objects in uh, Shrouded, uh, when you try to overlap them, you kind of get the idea that you cannot only overlap like this, like halfway through. And that's not true, because the objects don't really care how much you overlap them. They care about that this little white point that we kind of aim with uh, actually hit the correct uh, surface. So for a toilet that would be a horizontal surface for example and for I don't, I don't know like a painting or a wall lamp that would be a vertical surface. So as long as you can hit like a tiny little surface um, you can actually overlap stuff a lot more just halfway through. This means that if you want to place for example like a bookshelf or whatever inside of a wall you don't need to remove that much. It's enough with one single cube. As long as that white spot is a the correct type of surface for the bookshelf that would be a horizontal surface uh, you're good that you can just place it. So let's start by actually removing this thing here and this thing. Now we need some uh, vertical walls. Let's grab that and place behind the toilets. And then I need to grab some shelves. Did I bring one? No I did not. Be right back. So shelves are great if you want to place stuff on elevations that are like not on the standard height of the voxels because you can kind of fit them wherever you want and you can place stuff on top of them. So what I want to do is kind of place them so we get kind of a little gap below here. I think actually this will be all right. This will be enough, I hope. And then we do the same on the other side. A small gap here. Yeah, I think that will be all right. Now we uh, turn this one like this and now we can actually peek below and you can see that um, if I just get the kind of correct angle here, need to be able to get kind of line of sight in here. You see we can actually overlap them pretty much fully. Let's do that and place this one want it to form a corner like this and then we grab more of the toilets. And we do the same of course on this side, like this, now we can remove the shelves. Uh, put back our scaffolding you, right like just below the just below the toilets and do the rest of the tiny balcony. I think like yeah we put one here, then all across actually put these ones I think we'll, we will put them like this right so that that little segment that is uh, lower than the rest will be as short as possible barely noticeable so that was the thing that is actually huge it's bigger than you think that you can overlap stuff that much um, let's see uh, one toilet here as well I'm gonna bring too few toilets Kind of seems like I haven't brought enough stuff this time. Back with more toilets. So I really didn't bring all the stuff I needed in advance for this build. Anyway, let's put the last toilet there. And we of course don't really want a lot of toilets here on our nice little balcony. So what we will do is uh, grab um, this rod here. Oops, can I jump out? Yes I can. Remove all of these uh, kind of scaffolding walls. And now we should be able to kind of place this one inside of um, the side of the build. Now I actually need something to jump up on to let you see how the balcony looks. And we get this really nice planks here on the inside of the balcony. No sign of the toilets. And this really nice little French balcony um, a bit above the ground. So I made the flower boxes in front of the window using toilets. I also made a little fresh balcony out of toilets. And in a previous video, I made kind of a whole standing shelf out of toilets. So by now you might think I have some kind of toilet fixation. I promise you it's not the case. It's just that the toilets in the shrouded, the two different ones we got, are such versatile blocks. I mean, they're small and you can rotate them freely as opposed to what you can do with the voxel cubes, right? Uh, so that makes them really good to kind of invent stuff with. Uh, also, while I'm on the camera, uh, I know it's low quality. I use a web camera. I will try to do something about that. I have a GoPro lying about uh, and I will try to hook it up to OBS uh, and figure out a 
way to kind of mount it in a good place. And if I do, that should increase the quality of like the stuff I'm doing right now, talking in front of the camera by kind of a lot. Uh, with that out of the way, uh, let's move on to the flower pots on the walls. To make the flower pots on the walls, I have created some stairs here just to get a bit of higher perspective. Put some farm soil here on the wall. A shelf below just to be able to place stuff on. And grab the crucible, towards, uh, turn it towards the wall and just push it as far in as you can without like too much of the farm soil clipping through. That should be about like this I guess. And then we can grab, for example, a grapple plant. I think those look really, really nice. Place it inside. Remove, oops, not that one. Remove this one. And now we got like a really nice wall flower pot. Another version or another way of doing this is let's grab some more farm soil again. Uh, one, two, three, four, and then like four below or two below here. And then I need just uh, some temporary cube here. Uh, maybe this one will work. Let's see, like this, this, up on this one again. And grab a bath cube. And just sink it as far in as possible without, again, like the farm soil clipping through. Uh, we can now grab some flowers. Put one over here, maybe. And, oh, if you put it like where there's just one cube of... Um, a form soil it won't stick but it should be possible to kind of fit two in this one that actually sticks let's see if i can manage i think that one might stick around yeah it has not really disappeared yet so it did um now let's remove uh, my little uh, can i get to remove these ones yeah there we go there we go and here we go all right so these are two different versions of um flower pots for the wool. Of course you can use a lot of different items, just use your imagination I guess. Um, I think that looks kind of great. Well that was it for this video. Give a thumbs up if you thought it was useful. Maybe write something in the comment section below, especially if you got like feedback about the stuff I was showing in this video, as well as suggestions for future content. You might also consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already. I got a lot more content for Enshroud coming up on the channel. And I plan to do uh, some videos about a game called Mana Lords as well. I'm a huge fan of City Builders and this one looks extremely promising. It releases at the end of April, like the 24th or 25th or something like that. And it got some Total War elements as well where you can kind of have huge armies fighting other armies. Uh, I just need to kind of find a format that works for my channel for that because I can't really do Let's Build for a City Builder. I, I don't think it will work, but if I figure something out, I will most likely do a bunch of videos for that game as well. Uh, if you've got suggestions on like what format might fit for that, uh, of course I'm happy for those suggestions as well. Well, that was everything. Cheers!